This is quite an interesting combo here. 140 millimeter fan with typical 140 millimeter mounting holes. Check. Slim. Check. Value. Check. Now let's see how it works. Welcome to Machines More. This type of fan might have been a white whale for many in the enthusiast SFF community. 140 millimeter fans aren't as commonly deployed in the SFF space, but in some cases where there simply isn't clearance for 25 millimeter thick fans, but there is surface area for 140 or 280. Now, some of you have had to settle for a 240 or 120 rad simply because there wasn't a reasonably obtainable slim 140 millimeter fan for your application. And uh, slim 120s are far more commonplace. There are a few slim 140s like those from Thermal Riot and Cryo Rig, but they're not all 140 millimeter fan hole spacing, and they're not as easy to get. So I think this fan does address a gap in the market here, and it is much better distributed. So we'll take a quick look here at what this has to offer today and the performance you can expect. Big thanks to Arctic for, for providing the review samples here today. This review isn't sponsored, and as always, you can expect unbiased, objective feedback. Okay, first off, the fan design. Much in the same way that the P14 looks like a scaled up P12, the P14 Slim, it looks just like a scaled up P12 Slim. This one's 16 millimeters thick. You got seven blades, plastic construction. Nothing super fancy here, right? It's, it's plain, there's no vibration dampeners. The blades, they're pretty thin. The axle doesn't have much play, but with very gentle force, you can rock the fan blade assembly side to side where it can actually scrape the frame. So this one is definitely not as sturdy as your full-size P14. Of course, that's not surprising, right? Because it's a lot thinner. The box and the packaging is pretty simple, but there's a huge inclusion here. And if you're intending to use these fans as a rad fan, you're gonna really appreciate the fact that in addition to the regular silver fan screws, Arctic included four shorter length 632 rad screws. And if you've ever tried to get these for your build, you know it's an extra, extra step to source them. So very convenient, nice job, Arctic. RPM range-wise, the fan, it does go as low as 5% PWM, where it's going to be spinning around 150 RPMs. That's really slow. And below 5%, it will shut off. So if you do want your fan to stop when your system is idle, just make sure you set your fan curve accordingly. The max RPM listed is 1800 RPM. Now, I didn't see the variance listed on the box, uh, but mine hit a max of 1730, which is going to be within the tolerance that's typical for PC fans here. This cable, it is quite generous, and it has uh, a daisy chain connector. It's called PST, or Power Sharing Technology in Arctic Speak. And this is especially convenient if you're in a scenario where these are going to be side by side, like in a case fan or a rad fan application. The noise profile is quite gentle. At max speed, it ran at only 1.2 decibels above the noise floor. So, of course, this number doesn't really tell us that much without looking at the airflow or the performance. But we'll take a listen after the performance testing section of the review. Obviously, physics being physics, don't expect any miracles here. The geometry of the slim van, well, it simply can't move as much air as the thicker one, but I think it's actually pretty competent. To test these, I wanted to try them out on an air cooler, so C14S does make a reappearance here. I did want to also avoid the geometry of the fan being a factor here, you know, with a, th a thicker fan being closer to the outside. Uh, so what I did was test it with a side panel off, and since these really don't have much headroom, we kind of need to test them at 100%, and even then I had to back off the voltage on the 5800X test chip here. So this chip is being tested at 1.2 volts and uh, 4.5 gigahertz. So we got roughly 1700 RPM on the P14 Slims versus 1300 or so on the P14. And I'm also throwing in the stock Noctua A14 fan as a baseline here. And at this noise level, it does hit uh, 1100 RPM. At this level, the P14 does beat it by quite a bit. Now, this is one of the best performing 140 millimeter fans though, and impressively, the P14 Slim, it's pretty competitive even against the A14. Of course, you gotta keep in mind that A14, it's not the most noise optimized fan, and still it has quite a bit of headroom left for its max RPM, while the P14 Slim, this is, uh, that's all you can get, right? So, performance here, 
it is pretty good for what this is, a slim fan. But can you make it work any better in this scenario? Not really. I did want to test it out in a push-pull configuration, but one thing to note is that this fan really isn't well suited to deploying in that manner without some modification. Uh, one limitation here is that the fan, it really doesn't come with any rubber vibration dampeners, which would space it off a little bit. Uh, the intake side of this blade assembly is basically flush with the frame of, fan, uh, of the fan on this side. And that means when you use it under a heat sink, uh, top down, of course, it does contact the heat sink. You know, this, this assembly here it rubs and it clicks and then the blades, they'll clip other parts of the heat sink and it's extremely noisy. Uh, in this application. So this test was really more to satisfy my curiosity than anything else since there's no way I would ever recommend running it this way. You could run it with a full-size fan underneath a heat sink, but syncing up the two fans, I think that would be quite challenging. You'd probably get turbulence there. Noise, like I mentioned, the overall measured noise of this fan is quite low, even at max speed. Uh, there is a tiny little bit of bearing rumble that is noticeable at low RPM simply because there isn't enough noise to hide it, but you know, you can take a listen here. So P14 Slim, well you could run it as a heatsink fan on something like the C14S. This one here is really going to be better suited to being deployed out of necessity on a radiator or a case fan scenario. And in that scenario I'd also expect it to run noticeably worse than a P14. Um, but hey, you know, if you're running such as a bigger rad in something like the mesh, it's just like a big 280, you can use these. Uh, but you know, when you need the clearance, this is a fine choice. Of course, if you have space, I don't know why you'd ever choose this over a good full thickness 140. I mean, the slim, it is $13 US, and so that is cheaper than the full size P14 by about $2. But hey, if you have the space, you know, it's $2 that's really well spent. So kudos to Arctic for even bothering to make this product though, because niche purpose fan here, and I think a lot of you, you're gonna be glad that this exists. So good job, Arctic. I hope you enjoyed the review. Give a like if so, subscribe if you haven't already. Links are down below. Thanks for watching today.